morning guys welcome to day 22 i haven't eaten breakfast yet um i had my collagen coffee i just wasn't hungry yet so i'm going on my walk um because i have to go pick up the grandkids at 11 and i'll either get something before i leave or i'll get it when i get back with them so um i gotta get this done before i get them all right first meal today is leftover foil packet of tilapia and veggies all right guys, I'm getting ready to do my second workout. Um, the kids are gone, so I could go to the gym. <clears throat> so I have that opportunity, but um, <clears throat> I kind of have a headache today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a leg workout here at home um, and enjoy the peace and quiet in the house <laughs> for a little while before my husband gets home. So I'm gonna get it done. All right, for dinner, I made spaghetti squash and then I put Took it out of the squash, put some rouse on it, some seasoning, put some of the uh, mozzarella slices on here or round slices or whatever, the thick ones from Sam's, and let it melt in the oven. And we are having this with the chicken sausages from Sprouts. So I will show you this when it's all plated up. All right, so here's my plate, y'all. Added some Parmesan on top as well. All right, wrapping up day 22. All right, today's macros were 1605, four calories, 157 protein, 46 total carbs, and 88 fats. Pretty good day. And I did take those supplements, so I need to mark those off and end my day. Before I go to work, I'm making a protein coffee to take with me. I've been having trouble um, getting all my food in. Well, it did yesterday because I just wasn't that hungry last night, so I didn't eat everything. Um, and so I'm, I had my collagen coffee already, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix in this one, some peppermint bark level one protein powder. Um, and I put a tablespoon of heavy cream in there um, and I'm gonna mix it up because, and this is a little to go thing. Um, I had packed it to take with me the other day, just in case, when I was on my road trip, but I didn't use it. So, anyways, uh, this will get me some protein in for the day as well. So, that is what's going on until I get to work. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Phase 3 Day 23. Uh, it is the 24th, but it's Day 23 because we started on the 2nd. Because um, I know she's going to say it's 24. Um, anyway, uh, I have work today. It is raining. It's supposed to rain all day long. So my outdoor workout will be fun. I got up at five because I wanted to see if it was raining yet. And I was going to go ahead and go out and do my walk if it wasn't, but it was already raining. So I decided that if I'm going to walk in the rain, I might as well walk in the rain in the daylight. So I'm going to walk after I drop them and their mom off later. So we're going to get to work and I'll show you guys what, um, uh, I already showed you my coffee and all that stuff. What are you doing, weirdo? It's so cold. Well, it's gonna warm up and <laughs> they're cold. It's cold and wet, not a good combination. Anyway, um, I will show you what I eat at work for breakfast. I pack some things to bring with me and I've got some turkey sausage at work. So I'll show you that, but I've got my protein coffee with me that I made. And as you saw, I already had my collagen coffee. So let's hit the road. All right guys, it's 3.30. I'm just now making my lunch. I'm making some buffalo chicken chaffles. I'll show you them when I'm done. Um, and I have still to yet to do a first workout. I just did my hot spot. I already made my bed this morning. Um, take my supplements after I eat. And then um, it seems like the rain is kind of calmed down. So I'm gonna go out and get my walk done first. Then I'll just do uh, my second workout tonight in the living room. Um, 
even though I just really want to take a nap. <laughs> but after I go for my walk, I'm going to go over to Sprouts because I need to get a couple of small things and then I'll use that time to talk to a stranger because I doubt I'm going to see someone on my walk. If I do, I will do that then, but um, probably not going to be a lot of people out walking. Just crazy 75 hard people. <laughs> Here are my truffles. These are, like I said, chicken, um, buffalo, and this is ranch. Um, so basically, it's I, I made four. So I've got a tw I used a 12 ounce can of canned chicken, um, drained it of course, some buffalo sauce and egg and cheddar. So that is all that's in it really. Oh, and Redmond's real salt and Danos. Um, so it made four. I'm gonna eat two, save two for tomorrow, and then get. It's raining again, so we'll see what, what happens with this workout today. So I am headed to Sprouts. I just finished my first workout. Um, I went ahead and did it, um, my indoor workout first because I was just letting the rain pass. It started pouring again while I was eating lunch, as I was saying. Um, so <clears throat> it's now, I think, done. So at about 7 after dinner or so, if I'm ready for dinner by then because I need lunch until 3.30. Um, I may be eating dinner after that. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I, uh, will go for a walk and my husband said he might go with me. So that way I'll have to walk in the dark by myself. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to tell you today has been the struggle, but struggle best city because I feel tired, exhausted. Ex I mean, it's the same thing. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I got the grandkids at 615 this morning then I had to go to work. Um, get home, make them lunch, and I'm already was already wore out. You know, it was pouring down rain and all that. Um, <clears throat> I did get my book read at work, thankfully, and uh, yeah, I'm just tired. My back hurts. I'm just I want to go to bed, <laughs> but you can't do that. You got to do all your tasks, right? I, um, in fact, that's why I'm headed to Sprouts. I one, I want to get a couple of things that I need, but two. Um, I need to talk to a stranger. That's one of my th tasks on phase three is conversation with a stranger. And you don't usually have a problem with it. Um, half the time I get it done while I'm walking because when it's nice outside, you know, people are out walking. So you can talk to people, um, especially if they have a dog, that, that makes it easy. Um, you can ask about their dog, what kind it is, what the name of it is, yada, yada. And it leads to conversation. So, um... I usually don't have a problem with it. In the act of kindness, um, I did today as well at work. Gave some food away. And uh, those th two things have not really been that hard. I really, but you know, just today has been a struggle in general. It's, it's one of those days, it's pouring rain outside. You don't want to do anything. You just want to get in your bed and watch movies in the dark and let it rain and be cozy and all the things, right? Especially when it's cold and raining. So, you know, that inner voice is constantly being like, yeah, we don't have to do all this stuff. You need to just go relax, right? <laughs> but we can't let that inner voice learn, you know, the bitch voice as Andy Priscilla calls it in his book. Uh, you can't let the bitch voice win over. You got to let, you got to let the boss voice, voice take over and just get things done. Just do the dang things. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go in Sprouts, check another thing off the list and get home and we, and I can relax and watch some TV for a little while anyway, because I've got, can't do my other workout till at least seven. So that will be that. All right. See you guys after. All right, guys, I just picked up a couple things from Sprouts to get me till payday when we do our actual regular groceries. I forgot to get bread last time um, and I didn't have time this week. Everything is just too crazy the, to make my bread or my bread, the egg bread, you know, Maria's bread, um, protein spare modified fasting bread. So I picked up this and then I got some more yogurt and I got these two keto puddings to try uh, making some protein pudding with, but I want to compare the macros of this to the Jello, a sugar-free Jello instant pudding, and but I'm still going to use these, but because you know, anyway, I will let you know. All right, guys, headed out into the wet, cold for my outdoor workout to get my walk done. Um, yeah, at least it's not raining that much. It's supposed to start raining again though, so we're going to get it done. 
All right, so for dinner, I made we, that pulled pork that I had left over. I heated it up. We, um, I put them on the Egg Life wraps, the Southwestern ones with cheese and some of the G Hughes sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. All right, let's wrap up day 23. Just finished that cold shower and marking all the things. All right, today's ending macros were 1804 calories, 181 uh, protein, 34 total carbs, and 85 fat. Pretty good day. headed out for my walk for my first workout and good morning by the way <laughs> I don't think I've said good morning yet because I haven't eaten breakfast good morning and welcome to day I think 24 all right <clears throat> goodness my throat just cracked <laughs> all right I was what I was saying uh, for breakfast I made a uh, breakfast sandwich with the leftover chaffles I made yesterday uh, egg whites and pepper jack cheese uh, and that's it all right, guys, I just got the sweetest little care package from Shelly. And Shelly, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to thank you before you see this, but um, this made my day. Um, it has a little book in it, and it's got some keto bricks, which I'm excited because I haven't tried this flavor. Yum. And then let's see what this one is. Oh, I haven't tried this one either. What's this one? Buttered maple. I haven't tried any of these flavors, so I'm super excited. Okay, and I don't know what this is. Let me get it open and then I'll show you. All right, so this is what was in the box. It says, the bucket doesn't stop here. Pass the bucket, pay it forward. It has a few little treats and things in here. And then at the uh, on the other side, it says, if you know a spirit that needs a lift, fill the nice bucket and with simple gifts, a note or treats will show you care and help sprinkle kindness everywhere. When things get better and you're no longer blue, pass it on to someone new. That is so great. I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Shelly. All right, for dinner, I've got leftovers. So this is spaghetti squash, mozzarella, some chicken sausages, some cucumbers and ranch, and of course my water. All right, guys, my last meal today, I made some protein pudding. Um, it's kind of an uh, experiment uh, to see um, how I want to get it uh precise and I'll share the recipe once, once I do but I use the level one um, peppermint bark protein and this is a half serving of the lollies keto granola on top so um, I'm going to make some more and I will film it so you guys can see how to make it um, anyway can't wait to eat it all right finishing up day 24 All right, guys, today's macros were 1857 for calories, 179 protein, 36 total carbs, and 98 fat. making a cheese omelet for breakfast and I'm trying this cheese that I got at Aldi. I just took a little bite of it. Oh my gosh, y'all, so good. But it says it's best melted, so I'm putting it in my omelet. Um, I think I'm gonna try it on some burgers later in the week, for the weekend or something. But um, yeah, very tasty. And it's zero carb, six grams of protein for one slice, which is awesome, 90 calories. It's a pretty thick slice too, so you're getting a good bit so anyway I'll show you my plate when I get it all done so my omelet fell apart so it's not too pretty but it's pretty yummy with that um, cheese and I've got my second cup of coffee with uh, nut pods and then I put some hot sauce on my omelet and then of course butter on my carbonate gluten-free low-carb keto whatever you call it bread as as I said I didn't get the kids today and I am 
enjoying my day. <laughs> I'm moving slow, still getting all my things done, but I'm just enjoying being able to not be in a rush and stuff like that. So um, I got my book read, had my breakfast, lounged around on TikTok and Instagram for a bit, and um, you know, made my bed, got my um, um, workout stuff on, all the things, took my progress photo, and now I am going to go do my walk, but I'm going to go to the trail because I have time. I don't go to the trail as often when I have the kids because I do when we go to the playground, but um, <clears throat> it's hard to, they don't want to walk the whole trail. So, um, and then when I know I'm getting them dropped off here in the morning, I don't have as much time unless I get up super early to go to the trail. And so I just end up walking the neighborhood, which is fine. Um, but I just thought a change of scenery since this day is like, all me today I'm excited um, day 25 I can't believe it five more days um, I have yeah I got some decisions de decisions I can't even talk today um, some decisions to make because um, I'm debating whether I want to do like take a week off and then do I'm gonna drive while we talk um, do a round of 75 um, like a week later um, or I want to take a longer break and do it like after my summer job, um, is over. Um, cause I don't want to do it. I don't want to be doing it during KetoCon in April. I would be done just in time if I started in February. Um, and then if I started it after KetoCon, I wouldn't be done in time to be not doing it while I'm at my summer job, which we do lots of fun things in that, in the summer when I'm there so I don't really want to have to not be able to go to wineries and things like that so um I definitely have a decision to make on where when I'm going to do it so if I do it either it's either going to be sometime in February or it's going to be um July ish something like that late July um so I will let you guys know for sure um, but anyway, even if I uh, take a break or whatever, I'm still going to be doing um, all the things, you know. I'm going to be tracking. I'm going to be working out. I'm going to be um, doing a lot of things. So um, that won't matter if I'm not actually doing 75. Um, and I'll probably join in on if there's another step challenge or whatever, um, whether it be Derek's or the one that we do with the um, WAC family or whatever. Um, and keep up with my steps and walking because I think that definitely helps me um, as well um, and the other thing is I go back to my doctor on Tuesday um, I know I forgot to share with you guys the blood work my blood work was really good on almost everything except for like a couple of things um, and uh, it does show I'm insulin resistant um, the metabolic panel and stuff that she did and all that so I'm going back on Tuesday to discuss the medication and see what I want to get on and um, for a tool because I want to say this now because I know there's gonna be people that are like when you get on certain things um, you're just doing it for a quick fix or whatever you should just do keto well yeah I am doing keto 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 bore whatever you want to call it um, I am NOT doing this for a quick fix obviously I've been on keto for almost five years it's about to be my keto anniversary um, so I know keto works. I know keto is the best way to, to eat keto and carnivore, but keto, keto, ketovore, carnivore, whatever is the best way to eat in general. And the, I feel my best, um, always, I feel my best eating this way. Um, but because my body has been through, you know, hell and back, um, I, I don't have a working thyroid. It's dead. Uh, it was killed with radiation. Um, so I'm always going to be on medication for that. Um, so between that and like the 50 million yo-yo diets I did from, for my whole life really. Um, and in my, um, twenties when I was anorexic and you know, cause I, I told you guys, if you've watched all my videos, I've gone from one extreme to the other. Um, I messed up my metabolism. Like I screwed it up. I mean, I did it, you know, plus my thyroid. Um, but it definitely, because of the insulin resistance and the me my metabolism being just ruined, um, my body doesn't like to give up the weight. It gave up quite a bit 
with keto. I've lost 80 pounds on keto. The last 10 pounds of that have gone up and down. So I've been 80 pounds down, 70 pounds down, you know, back and forth. Um, I'm back up to the 80 pound mark. Um, but I, it, it just doesn't want to go past that. It just wants to stay right where it's at. So um, I definitely have a need for some tools in my tool belt. And, and you know, I wholeheartedly, anybody who needs extra tools, I wholeheartedly say go for it. Um, you don't need to worry about what everybody else thinks. But it's, I just want to make that clear because I have done, you know, the Fen Fen and all those things. I did HCG, I've done Weight Watchers, I've done the Cabbage Soup Diet, I've done everything under the dang sun my whole life. You know, obviously I went through a period of not eating um, and then... I was a vegetarian for six years because I thought that was going to be the best thing for me to be healthy and all that. And that, I think that is part of the reason my thyroid started acting up because I was having so much soy and, you know, stuff that wasn't good for me um, and processed carbs because I wasn't eating meat and I probably wasn't getting enough protein. I'm sure I wasn't because I wasn't, I didn't know better. Like I just thought, you know, oh, let's just not eat meat you know I wasn't like calculating how much protein I should have and all those things so I was young naive <clears throat> didn't know um so that's why I am going to use whatever she suggests um that is available for me and um I just wanted to say that because I know it's very controversial and I feel like people who are diabetic um have you know are feeling like people who get on certain medications are taking that from them and I want you to know that I am not also I'm not planning to be on this for long term I'm just doing this to help me get over this hurdle of of you know getting my last few pounds off that I want to get off um because I know I can maintain it I know that in, and lots of people say you get on these uh, different um types of medications <clears throat> that are out there right now and people who get off of them gain it all back. Well, the people that get off of them that gain it all back are the people who go back to their old habits and the people who haven't treated or what do you call it? Um, haven't got on top of what causes them to binge or eat in the first place. Um, because if you don't address those issues, you're not going to overcome the weight. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to keep coming back because you're going to keep going back to your old habits. Um, so you have to change those habits in order for that to be sustained, for you to sustain the weight loss. Um, because like I said, this is only a tool. This is not magic potions, you know. Um, and my way of eating will not change either. Um, no matter what medication I go on, no matter what, um, <clears throat> you know, I will never, I will never stop eating keto or keto bore. Uh, because I know better. I know better. I know it's better for my body. So anyway, rant over. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know what, what my plans are, what I'm doing, um, and how my blood work went. Um, like I said, everything was really good with the blood work, um, except for the metabolic, you know, my metabolism and my insulin resistance. Um, my vitamin D was a little low, which is fun, kind of weird. I guess it's because it's winter because I do take vitamin D. So she upped that back up again. Um, so I'm taking 10,000 of that again. I was, she had dropped me back down to five, but I'm back up to 10. Um, <clears throat> other than that, um, the other blood work was great. Cholesterol, um, everything else. Um, thyroid was actually, she didn't change anything on that. Um, even, you know, but it's medication. It's not the actual thyroid doing this thing. It's how my body's reacting to it. Um, but, um, and hormones were pretty good. So, Yeah. I will let you know Tuesday what I find out, and um, stay tuned. Alright guys, back at the house, and I am getting ready to eat lunch. Um, I've finished my walk. I've got two turkey burgers here with two pieces of bacon and one of those little baby tiny eggs. 
and some bitchin' sauce. And then this is Quest chips to go along with it. And I'm working on my water. All right, for dinner, I made my game day chili. Uh, this recipe is here on the channel on my recipe playlist, also in my e-cookbook. So that's what we're having for, night, for dinner tonight. Day 25, let's go. Almost done. All right, guys, today's ending macros were 1852 for calories, 159 protein, 22 total carbs, and 119 fat. Overall, pretty good day. Also got all those supplements taken. Good morning guys welcome to day 26 i'm headed out for my walk i've got to go pick up the grandkids so i got to get this done i probably won't get to do three miles today i'm gonna to have to do the two point whatever uh, but anyway gonna go get it done all right for my first meal today i made frenchy eggs um this is recipe is here on my channel under the my recipe playlist uh it was originally by nicole burgess and i did my twist on it um it's egg whites cooked with some uh, apple pie spice and cinnamon and then we've got almond butter underneath with some uh, berries and then this is a serving of the good culture cottage cheese with everything bagel on it all right guys i just got back from planet fitness i did a leg and ab workout and uh after i dropped off the grandkids back at their house and now i'm going to come in and figure out what we're going to have for dinner and put some dishes away all those fun things all right, guys, we made steaks for dinner uh, out on the grill, and this is Chef Chamois butter on top. All right, guys, the last thing I'm having tonight is the protein pudding I made with the level one. This is the chocolate banana flavor. All right, let's wrap up day 26. All right, guys, today's any macros were 1855 calories, 165 protein, 28 total carbs, and 117 fats. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day 27, I think. <laughs> it's raining. I'm going to get out here and get my walk done. All right, for breakfast, I made three of those little small eggs fried with two pieces of bacon and some of the carbonate toast and on my second cup of coffee. All right, guys, I uh, got back from running my errands and I am making a yogurt bowl. Since I ate uh, breakfast so late, like brunch, I guess, I'm just having a yogurt bowl. Um, so I made 0% Fage, a serving of that with the chocolate collagen, some of the lollies, keto granola and a tablespoon of creamy almond butter so that is going to be my meal until dinner time all right so i'm having a coffee with some of the vanilla level one protein um just to up my protein for the day but also to warm up because it's cold and damp today so oh, and this is mexican hot chocolate flavored coffee all right dinner tonight i made some cheeseburgers uh this is G. Hughes ketchup and some spinach and some protein Quest chips to go along with it. And day 27 is in the books. All right, guys, my calories today were 1774, 154 protein, 30 total carbs, and 92 fats. Overall, another good day. Hey guys, <clears throat> while my car is warming up, I thought I would do my wrap up for week four. And there's gonna be a final video that will have the last two days on it and like my um, 
thoughts about the whole program and all these different things. So I will, uh, you'll see that in a few days. But um, last week was definitely, the last couple weeks I've been struggling with my headaches. It, I really think it's because of the weather. We've had so much back and forth and my body is like a human barometer. Um, if there's a, a thunderstorm, if there's like a front that comes through, I get, it triggers my headaches. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. <laughs> um, and I'm, of course I still, I do have like food issues that trigger it as well, but those are the things, you know, sinus, sinus stuff starts bothering me. It will trigger um, a sinus headache that turns sometimes into a migraine and yada yada. So it's all connected. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I did, I have been struggling with that for a little bit, but um, I've been still getting things done. Um, I am over the cold showers, I will tell you that, only because it's cold outside. <laughs> and I love cold weather, don't get me wrong, but um, I think I am just not, I, I, do, I do understand the benefits of the cold shower, not just to play with your head because this is a mental challenge, but um, there are a lot of benefits to ice baths and cold showers as far as recovery and things it can do for your body. Uh, um, health-wise all kinds of different benefits that I've seen um but I am just over them <laughs> uh so I mean like if I could keep if I could pick one thing like if I kept everything else in this program like as a lifestyle I think that would be the thing that I wouldn't keep just because I just I don't know it's five minutes it doesn't take you that long really I put on a song I bathe I dance in the shower yada yada it's over um, so, you know, I just suck it up, but it isn't something I enjoy, which I guess everything in life you don't enjoy, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so that's definitely something I won't, um, not be glad to be over. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, as far as eating and everything, I think everything's going well. I'm seeing the scale move, which is good. Um, and, um, the only thing I haven't gotten done as far, well, not gotten done as far as this program, but like um, on the app, I do, I'm doing a certain program of, wor of workouts for my strength training. And there's been a few days that it's had um, EMOMs, um, which is every minute on the minute is what that means. Um, but the, the types of things they have me doing, I don't have the equipment for, like um, wall balls. I don't have that type of ball. Plus I don't have a wall, even at Planet Fitness they don't have the right balls for that. They just have regular medicine balls and not a wall to do wall balls on and, or a plate like target. Um, and, um, there's a few, few here and there things. So I'll change up those workouts. But other than that, um, I've just done a full body strength day on those days instead of like doing upper or lower body. Cause didn't want to overdo it on one or the other since I knew I had other ones during that week. Um, my steps this week have been really good. Um, although, um, on Sunday, which you won't see until you'll see my day of eating video, I rode the bike outside because I had a headache all day and it was pouring down rain all day. Um, which is funny the last few days of like, I've gone through this whole thing, this whole month. And it, it, there's really only been one day it rained on me for just a little bit on my end of my walk. But these last few days, it's like, forecast this rain every day so of course um but uh but yeah it's been it has been good overall though and um you know like I said I'll tell you my overall thoughts in the final video but this week's been really good um as far as food and workouts and all the things so I'm happy with it I'm, I'm seeing results and I feel good besides the headaches otherwise um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video to see how I am doing um, and getting those steps in for the steps challenge. Um, we are on the, fi the this final week of that as well. Um, everybody's doing great. I can't, there are some people that are getting so many steps. I'm like, God, Lee, are you just walking all day long? My goodness. I, <laughs> I'm going out on a walk every single day um, and not getting what they're getting. So it's awesome to see all these people doing so much. So anyways, thanks for watching. And, um, I will see you guys really soon in the next video. And also there's a recipe coming up this week that you th I think you're going to like and, um, the results of all of this. So I will talk to you guys soon.